And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Star Power, a production of Firestar Pro Wrestling, Brad Stutz and Mr. Magnificent yes. joining me in the booth. And we have got a huge slate of action for you this week. Kicking things off, Jason Raditz taking on Oliver Sawyer. Sawyer, tried and true, a member of the Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy here. This is going to be a good test for Oliver Sawyer, though, because ruthless Jason Raditz is a big, bad man. Indeed. we got a great show for you tonight. And, 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 you know, a little preview of what's going to happen. Me and my friend uh, G-Money, we like to say it's going to be action-packed action. When you take action and you stuff it inside of action, then you get action-packed action. It makes and like an action calzone almost. Yes, and that's what we got here in the ring tonight. And understand a little bit of a uh, war of words that has gone on in recent weeks between our star power general manager, Bill Coble, and the general manager of the firepower brand, Nate Burnham. And understand that, you know, Burnham has said that, that he is uh, focusing on the young talent, that, 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 that Coble is, is too obsessed with, with bringing stars in and all this other nonsense, according to Burnham. So Bill Coble actually said, no, we're going to kick off the broadcast this week with two of the top young stars in the game. And we have got him here with Oliver Sawyer and Jason Raditz. Raditz goes for the clothesline, got nothing, shoulders down. Close. Only gets two, and Sawyer, oh. Sawyer has been working hard. Another cover, trying to put this big man away. Sawyer has been working hard in the Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy here in Greensboro. Of course, that professional wrestling training school meets several times per week right here at the Firestar Arena. Uh, if you or someone you love is interested in stepping into the squared circle, trying to pursue a dream of becoming a professional wrestler, we absolutely encourage you to visit Firestar Pro Wrestling, FSPWWrestling.com, or any of our social media handles to potentially come aboard the Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy. But this is a young man, Oliver Sawyer, that is in training three, four days a week. He's one of the most diligent prospects at the camp right now, and, and, and that leads to him getting big matches like this. Oh, my gosh. And the action in this match is incredible so far. What Sawyer, oh, what Sawyer lacks in size, he definitely makes up in heart and speed. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to be uh, one of the quicker men on the star power roster, and oh boy, oh. he caught him. Two. No, sir. Wow. I think at this point he just kicked out, of, kicked out due to sheer instinct. Yeah, positively. This is, this is a bad, bad man in Jason Raditz. We have seen him in Firestar Pro Wrestling uh, in – past months. This is his first time competing for the Star Power brand and I uh, gotta wonder if, if maybe Super Fire General Manager Nate Burnham is maybe a little bit upset that he missed out. He likes to fancy himself as someone that picks up on the top prospects and uh, Bill Coble has scooped him on these two, two of the top prospects in the game right here. A win for either one of them is going to uh, kick off the new year in a big way. Right, it's taking his time. Those powerful legs stomping away. When a man is that thick, when he's got that much muscle, wow. everything he does to you just hurts. What do you, what do you do to defend yourself against it? I mean, he's huge. Sawyer will need to use his wits oh. and his quickness. I think he hit him in the spleen. Holy cow. Rad, it's teeing off. Sawyer sent hard into the buckle. We'll need to make something happen here. Trying to use the quickness, get the shoulders down. No, rolled right through it. Didn't get anything off that one. Backslide would be good. Mm, oh. Caught him with a European uppercut. Uh oh. I don't know if I would want to trade shots oh, with this no. man. Sawyer's holding his own. Over the shoulders. No, sir. Oh. Boy, Sawyer's doing a great job of avoiding everything this big man throws oh. at him. Finally caught him with the sling blade. Cradles him up, only got two. Just goes to show you, quickness sometimes is what you need to win the match. Absolutely. Referee Jason Orr says only two. Of course, hey. we will see another young top prospect in Casey Kane later on this evening as he teams with Taylor Knight to take on the Scrapyard Dog and Don Petty. That's a team I would not want to mess with either. Not at all. And Raditz! Oh. Hooked him in a power bomb, dropped him in a backbreaker. Good night, Oliver Sawyer. No, sir. Wow, this kid has heart. Five minutes has elapsed. Ten minutes remain. He's got heart and he's got guts, and if he doesn't watch it, his guts will be all over the canvas. <laughs> Shoulders down. 
still in this fight. Another big power move. No, sir. Sawyer has done a great job of avoiding as many of those big, big slams as he can. Woo! Caught him with a knee. May have turned a big man's lights out. Knee lift. Uh, cradled him up. And he beat he him. It. A huge win. A huge win. He caught him with that huge knee lift. Raditz was on Green Street. It's and incredible. Sawyer wins it. A mild upset, I got to say. Hey, a mild upset, but that just goes to show you the level of talent you have right here in this company. Anything can happen on any given night. Absolutely correct. Folks, next week, Star Power will get our first look at the Star Boy. Let's take you to some words now from B.K. Westbrook. <laughs> it's the Star Boy B.K. Westbrook analyst. Look what happened. It's written in the stars that I, B.K. Westbrook, travel on down to Greensboro, North Carolina at Firestar Pro Wrestling Star Power. Finally, Star Power has its star in the form of this intergalactic Matt Maverick, this stud, the athletic aesthetic, B.K. Westbrook. Bell Sounds, we are off and running in our main event tag team bout this week on Star Power, and it is the two men that have the personal issue that look like they will start things off here. Kaysen Kane was trained professionally by the Scrapyard Dog, uh, still in his early days as a pro, and in, it was in one of his very first professional matches that we saw the Scrapyard Dog return to Firestar Pro Wrestling. He attacked Kaysen Kane with that chain. They met one-on-one -on -one several weeks back here on Star Power. Scrapyard Dog again used the chain. And in this week's main event, Mr. Magnificent, they have each selected a partner in this tag team matchup, and Scrap has picked 
the notorious Don Petty uh, a great pickup for the Scrapyard Dog. Definitely a great pickup and a huge guy. Yeah. In this case, you have to be careful because, uh, especially if you're scrap, because this could be a case where the student becomes the teacher. Absolutely. Notorious Don Petty will tower over most men in the locker room. However, Taylor Knight does have a better than most chance at matching up with him physically, and it will actually be these two behemoths that start things off in this tag team matchup. Scrap not wanting any part of his student. Knight takes oh. to the sky. Quick thinking. Mm, mm, might have tweaked that knee on the landing, however. Uh-oh. Yeah, he will have to stick and move and, and, and throw everything he can at the notorious Dom Petty. Petty down to a knee. Petty, a perennial contender to the Southeastern Championship, currently held by Duke O'Connor. And when you're that big and that bad, you can challenge for anything you want to challenge for. Casey Kane, though, not backing away. Oh, and Notorious Don Petty just ran right through him. I think we need to check the front row for his teeth. Wow. Case and Kane, I believe, I don't have my stat sheet in front of me, but I believe Case and Kane is still in single digits as far as number of professional matches. Oh. And he may not live to see 10. Mm. Whoa. Less than a year in the game, Case and Kane, and, and, and you know, for whatever relationship that he and Scrapyard Dog have had in the past, when Scrap had a hand in breaking this young man in, uh, cover here again from Petty, uh, you know, I can only speculate. I don't want to put words in the Scrapyard Dog's mouth. I don't know if he thought Casey Kane wasn't ready for the to be in a ring yet. I don't know if he thought he wasn't ready to be in front of people. I don't know what the dispute is. Uh, but Scrapyard Dog has, has made it his mission to take this young man that he helped break in to take him out of the game now. Now, if that's the case, why is Scrapyard not in the match right now? I mean, he's, let, he's letting this gentleman do all the work for him. I mean, I mean, if my partner was 6'8 and 300 pounds, I'd let him do all the work too. <laughs> Scrap tags in over 20 years in the game for the Scrapyard Dog, trained by the Raging Bull Manny Fernandez. So you know that man went through some pain oh, to yeah. get his to earn his opportunity in this sport. Scrapyard Dog is is an indie legend. Yeah, not not hyperbole at all to say in this part yeah. of the country, especially yes. uh, if, if you have been. Attending independent wrestling in this part of the country here in the Carolinas in the past 20 years, uh, you have seen Scrapyard Dog compete. You have probably seen Scrapyard Dog fight. You have probably seen Scrapyard Dog bleed. Yes, you have. And the crazy thing is, you can say what you want to about him. He's not slowing down at all. No, took, took most of the pandemic off, as a lot of us did, but has come back in good shape and not, not taking any lip from Taylor Knight either as the Scrapyard Dog. Former Firestar Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. That title currently held by Tevin Dangerous Turner, TDT for short. Kane trying to break free and again. You know, we talked about it a little bit earlier with Oliver Sawyer. When you're, when you're physically overmatched like that, you know, what do you do? You can't run at him. You can't run through him. Huge leg drop. And you see just barely getting that shoulder up. He's got to use his speed if he can. To, to, you know, get the advantage over him. But at this point, it may be a little hard to do. Petty's got so much power, and he's got those long, long legs. If he had gotten that leg over that opposite shoulder, this thing might be over because this guy brings so much weight. If he's just leaning and laying on you just like he is now, it hurts. Riff Yolanda trying to get him out of the corner. Oh, Ow. my God. Woo! There's steam coming off that boy's chest. Don Petty and the Scrapyard Dog make one dangerous duo. Petty, another veteran of the Ring Wars. He's got uh, several years under his belt now, and there's the cheap shot oh, from the Scrapyard on. Dog. Not sure if he was choking or gouging. This Five, is what the type of behavior that Scrapyard, the veteran, the teacher in this match uh, displays. It's crazy. Yeah, he, he, he marches to the beat of his own drum, does the Scrapyard Dog, and man, Petty has been wearing Case and Kane out with those slams. I think you're right, Mr. Magnificent. They have had a game plan in this thing, and that game plan was for Don Petty to wear Case and Kane out as much as possible, and he is fulfilling his end of the bargain. Absolutely. Like the Jolly Green Giant just throwing people around here. Another big cover. Mm, and again. All those slams definitely taking toll on his lower back, and, you know, if you – 
If you don't have your back, you can't stand. If you can't stand, you can't wrestle. Absolutely. It affects your punching power. It affects your ability to stand, to grapple, to grab, to lift, to do anything. And it even affects Case and Kane's ability to fly around this ring if need be. Scrap goes to the body. Scrap. And boy, Kane has been isolated oh. for several minutes. Mm, huge double clothesline. Student and teacher both had the same idea. That is not at all surprising. I mean, like you said, student and teacher, they know each other extremely well. They know each other very well. Case and Kane, despite having only a few matches under his belt, has kept a more regular schedule in recent months than Scrap. So those bumps in that ring, getting thrown around like Scrap is now, hurts extra because he's, he's out of practice. Petty trying to create space. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> or maybe just kick right through him. Petty and Scrap have done a great job of keeping both opponents in their corner, their side of the ring. Scrap declares himself legal with the tag. That knee is still bothering Taylor Knight. Scrap needs to capitalize. Woo! Stinger oh. splash onto both men. Now Scrap tagged himself in. I'm not sure if Yolanda caught it or not. That knee is still bothering Taylor Knight. Knight is taking himself out of the matchup uh -oh. due Something, to that knee injury. Something's going to have to give here. Yeah, that knee is still bothered. Referee Yolanda's with Taylor Knight. That could be an issue here. Kane is back legal. Oh. Huge drop kick to the scrapyard dog. Rolling senton. There it is. There's the cover. One, Ref Yolanda, two, Ref Yolanda three, is still with four. Taylor Knight on the knee injury. She's got to keep these men safe, but there was a cover just now. It is her responsibility to keep these men safe, but the two legal men are still going at it here. Woo! Oh, beautiful. Caught him with the elbow drop. Got to maneuver that man's shoulders down. Two, got him! A huge measure of revenge for Case and Kane in this week's main event. He and Taylor Knight stand tall, and the student overcomes the teacher in this huge tag team war. Taylor Knight barely able to stand, but Mr. Magnificent, he leaves with his hands in the air as the victor tonight. Indeed, and a well-earned victory. These gentlemen fought hard, and they deserve everything they're getting in this ring right now. We thank you so much, wherever you are in the world, for joining us tonight. We will see you next time. On behalf of Mr. Magnificent and the entire crew at Star Power, good night from the Gate City.